Alrighty, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's fishing crabby and yabbing here and thought I'd start the intro a little bit different today. Um, we're heading off to none other than Spot X again. Um, currently I think 3.35 a.m. Still nice and dark. 21st of October. Yep, October. We got a 6.30 low tide in the morning today, but it, it is racing in quite a bit. There's quite a bit of water holding in on the low tide, and there's um, then there's quite an influx of water coming in. So I'm hoping that um, it, it's sort of an experimental tide. I want to see if the uh, how the fish bite on this tide, and I just want to get out. So uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. See you guys there. Okay, guys. So, started fishing about an hour and a half ago. I noticed both my lines were zooming out. Had this one tried to hook what it was. I think I pulled it. And this one was getting a little bit of action. Uh, I thought I actually had the fish on. I started reeling it, and it must have mistook it for a bait fish. And this is what I'm talking about. So, uh, it's a good tailor. Nice little tailor. I hope you guys can see that because in the last video we couldn't actually see that. And he's gonna go back. I just measured him because um, I need some cup bait for fillets. Just look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. You don't want them getting you. It's a very nice fish, actually. Nice, healthy fish. Nice Sydney tailor. Give it a quick release. And go on, skis. Alrighty, let's get into them. Tell you what, I think these baby snapper in on the bottom of the uh, the bottom of the water column. As soon as my bait gets down there, they just uh, seem to want to hammer that bait, eh? Even the squid, they're just ripping it off. I'm not ripping it, but um, they do just seem to be uh, tearing it apart. It's squid ink on my thumb. <laughs> there we go. You can see, actually see how low the tide is. Usually, you'd see in my videos at the very end of my video that that tide, that tide bar would be. Uh, packed with water but yeah just fishing this tide at the moment Good morning oh my god that is a bloody massive massive fish oh what I'm gonna do There he is, there he is. Oh my god. That is a big, big blue grouper. I don't know if you can see him, he's right there guys. He might be coming to my bait. Which is scary, because I've got 20 pound on here. That is a horse of a blue groper well I mean they, they get big I know but I did not think I'd see one here I know they've been caught here you can see him right there right there wow wow There you have it guys, I mean, a more honourable picker here, I'd rather catch these guys than um, Trumpeter, I do not like Trumpeter, eh? 
fake little yellow tail. That's what I call them. Well, that's what we call them because um, when we fish for yellow tail, the trumpet is all we get. That blue grope is gone, otherwise I'll show you more footage of that. That's nuts. I can't believe I've seen that. I'm actually so happy. I feel... I mean, it'd be really cool to catch it, but hey, just, just seeing it alone, that's, a, that's an experience. In th this far inside of an estuary as well. It just shows how well fisheries are managing this place, and that's why I don't want to give it away. Because I've already seen a lot more people take a lot of illegal fish from here. And then I ask them, where did you find it? Unfortunately, my videos have been some of them. And if you guys find it, hey, look, feel free. Um, I'm more than welcome to help you out if you guys ever find this place. But I won't be revealing it. Because moments like that, you'll never see them again. If you keep revealing places like this to, to other people. And I mean, you can fish like this in a lot of places in Sydney. I mean, we caught big fish in Botany Bay. Or well, big fish for when we were like from... 12 years old to about when 14 15 and we started to move around because I started to get a bit older and um yeah so just had to know how to fish your location guys and you guys will be you guys will be right it's not all about the location it definitely helps but yeah guys catch you on the flip side Okay guys, I have just heard one of the biggest kingy bus stops I've ever heard. That thing sounded like a kathunk and a half. And I think I might get some more um, on camera too. I was just rigging up again because I got my um, hook stuck trying to get that blue groper. <laughs> Alright. Just watching my um pilchard get picked. Don't like to see it. Oh uh, no, sorry. Yes, my hook. Bloody hell! That was a big buster. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a baby. <laughs> yeah, little Trevally. <laughs> Tell you what, it's one of the funnest little mornings I'm having. Saw a big blue groper. Oh, I thought that was a bus stop. Saw a big blue groper. Still catching fish, it's not like we're going home skunked. But um, definitely would like to um, get my hands on one of those kingies, man. That was a very, very big fish that I've just heard. Man. It's, and it's right when I don't have baits in the water as well, man. Okay, GoPro, stop recording. Ooh. This feels like it's got a bit more weight to it. <laughs> That's because it's a half decent pinky. <laughs> and I tell you what, I could be fishing in the ocean or close by it because a lot of these a lot of these fish are quite big for an estuary fish. The hook just pops out like that. That's why you need big hooks. That hook just popped out. I don't know why people say you small hooks. <laughs> Alrighty. Nice little pinky. It's not even defending itself. Catch you later. Oh my god. I just caught that on camera. Ladies and gentlemen. 
kingy season has started. Oh my god, this is so frustrating and cool at the same time. That was a big kingy too. He would have been legal, he looked about, he looked mature. Rolling, gotta fix that really quickly. Oh, I think you might have even gotten hit, huh? Gotta get my yep, they'll come around again. Oh my god, go press stop recording. Tell you what, oh, yeah. Come on, oh. fish. You're not getting any. Oh, you got one. I hope you get one. Oh, you got another one. Mom, it's, it's easy for them to get them because um, there's a lot. This is a really cool movie. Oh, that one. Mom, did you see that? I just saw Come on, just take the bait. Oh, yep, yep, got him, got him. No! No, 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 no. Is he still eating? Oh, whoops. Oh, come on. Today has been one of the most frustrating days ever, and that just Aww. tops it off. Go for a stop recording. Alright, guys, I think I, I actually might upload this one. Either way, whether I catch a fish or not. Um, yeah, I might title it like one of the most frustrating days of fishing or something, because that's exactly what it is. Um, damn man, because I, I actually didn't explain um, the reason why I feel this way because I was reeling up my squid and the strip got absolutely smashed and it probably it, it's ripped it off the hook so I'm guessing that uh, the fish didn't actually um, grab the whole bait it just grabbed half of it and then ripped it off so yeah I've had a, a few decent opportunities at least we've seen a king, at least we've seen a really, really big salmon. Um, day's not over, but it's starting to feel like it. We'll keep fishing.
Don't know what I've got here. <laughs> Little Trevally, I think, yeah. This is stupid. There you go. Didn't want to break the line. Alrighty. Just had to net him because I'm using a bit lighter line. Oh. I know he's not legal. Do a nice Trevally. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, a little fishy. Oh, we try to get. There you go. We um, we try and get the. Is that on the bottom too? He's got some go in him. Yeah, it's super light line, so. Yeah. Um, I think salmon, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Probably a salmon. Taylor would have done me already, probably just beat me off, so. Alright. Yeah, he's right on the. He ran, so it's not like it's a ray or anything. Oh, yeah, salmon. Oh, sweet ass. Oh, yeah, salmon. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, salmon. Hey, at least someone had a bit of luck today. Yeah, that's yeah, good, yeah. that's good. No, not, um... <laughs> oh, I saw him trying to go for the net, so I was like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're not too bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, yeah, 45 ish. Yeah. Sorry, man. Yeah, that's just... cool. Do you want him or? Oh, yeah. Do you eat him or? I love him, man. Yeah, if man, you, wanna... you want him? Yeah. Take him. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, 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 I'm not too. That's alright. It's a good car, eh? Yeah. Cool. Good old Matt Watson would use it as yeah, um, live you. <laughs> Sweet job, brother. Yeah. He's still out there, I guess. I still can't believe he took off the bottom, but. Yeah, well, I don't know if he hit it on the way down. You know what I mean? Yeah. So who knows if he sort of was on for a bit and I didn't notice or. Mm hmm. Well, persistence pays off, yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks for that, bye. I really appreciate it. Yeah, here sorry I just got a bit distracted there's something in the water <laughs> um, but uh, what was I gonna say yeah best of both worlds we saw a pretty big blue grouper uh, caught a decent tailor 
um, missed a bunch of taillights as well. Um, then um, I don't remember. Yeah, I think I said in the video I had my squid ripped off by a um, uh, kingy. It just didn't bite the hook. Then you would have seen this whole salmon thing. Um, but then he caught a salmon and uh, the guy rewarded me with it because he he's not too keen on the salmon. Or he is, but just he apparently uh, he hasn't been in the freezer already. Or well, he has some fish in the freezer already. So um, yeah, he decided to give it to me for the net job. Um, yeah, so that's me for today. And until next time, peace. <laughs>